Jeremy, Jeremy Barris. I am the owner of a composites facility up here in Bellingham, Washington. We use primarily pre-preg carbon fiber. What we have to do when we get this material in, we have to keep it in a freezer because otherwise it will go hard and will be useless. We have an off-site freezer container as well. Our principal suppliers are SHD, Torre, SGL and Solve. These are all tier one, well-known, very high quality pre-preg suppliers. This room is our cutting room where we have our computer controlled cutting machine. Basically this machine not only cuts according to the CAD files we have for each part, but it also optimizes the usage of the material, so resulting in the least waste possible. This is obviously much more consistent and repeatable than doing it by hand, it is in fact a requirement from some of our tier one OEM customers. Let's go to the, to the next stage, which is to see actually what we do with the pieces we've cut. This is something that we make for Stellantis, for the Dodge Charger and Dodge Challenger. You can see that we have the various cutout pieces in here. Layer one, layer two, and layer three. Those are the three different layers for the skin of the carbon fiber spoiler. So what the employees here do is they immediately give the part they're working on a serial number, and they start the various stages, cutting, lamination, curing, and each time, each station signs off on this. This sort of quality control is equivalent to an ISO quality system and is a requirement to supply to Toyota and Lexus, which we do today. So here we have one of our employees in the process of taking the Dodge Charger layers and putting them in the mold at the moment. Once these three layers have been applied and the mold is ready, if we go to the next station. This station here is where they vacuum bag the products, the skins, in the mold. From here, it goes then into the uh, autoclave where it is heated, cured, under pressure. So to do that, we need to make sure that this vacuum bagging is um, absolutely airtight. And if we go over here, we can see what a finished part is, is going to look like. Now this will also then get put under a vacuum before going in, into the autoclave. We use basically two types of mold. One, mold which is made out of carbon fiber. This expands and contracts at the same rate as the carbon fiber part we are making. The other version, which we do for Toyota, this is steel tooling. This is typically for much higher volumes. It can last for many years without needing to be refurbished. Basically, an autoclave cures composites at temperature under pressure. Uh, we use nitrogen to cool it. We have under bar of pressure, 249, 250 degrees of temperature, and a vacuum of nearly minus 30. Once we're done with the autoclave, the parts are taken out, and we go then to, to sanding and prepping for final finish. This is a very critical area where employee expertise is really required. It's a very manual process. Surface prep, a lot of it is by hand. We do have now this soda blasting machine to help actually more with throughput. But this whole area is, is critical. It's, it's a very high percentage of the overall cost because surface prep takes time. The surface finish of the final product has to be absolutely perfect. So let's go from here now to the paint area, which is the next step. Well, you were able to see one of our more complex uh, parts in the paint booth having just been painted. You get an idea of the high gloss finish that we are aiming for. We're about halfway through only the final finish, surface finish of that part. Guys, you ready for prime? 
in time. So now we are in the final station prior to, to packaging. This is the polishing department. These high gloss parts you saw come out of the paint booth. Here they are. They look pretty good, you'd think but they're not good enough for us. All of that high gloss paint finish is wet sanded and then hand polished. And that's what gives it its truly special finish. Here we're at the final inspection and packaging area. And it's pretty bright, the lights here, for a reason. Because we want to be able to see with our final inspection if there are any blemishes we might have missed. This is a Dodge Challenger spoiler. We attach the rear view camera, put all of the hardware on it, and we make sure that this surface finish is absolutely perfect. This particular one is a what we call a satin finish. These, for example, remember I showed you the parts in the polishing department. These are those parts for Toyota. Take a look at that finish. It is flawless. That is what the customer's expectations are, and that's what we give them. It's not easy to package them. We do it in such a way no part can get damaged in transit. We can trace all of the parts that we make right back to the very first station, which if you remember, was the freezer with the pre-preg rolls of carbon fiber. I hope you've got an idea of how important quality is for us. Labor is not low cost, obviously. We do have quality employees who help us make a quality product at what we believe is a fair price for the finish and quality we provide. Well, thank you for watching. Contact us anytime you like. We are more than happy to answer questions and to help where we can.